Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now, going back now, I'm just trying to think, it was probably, I want to say it was a few months ago, but I think it was probably closer to August time. I made some content on the awesome one shear extreme um, trauma shears. And I've used these a lot, not in the medical sense but I've used these a lot for EDC I've had these in different packs it's great to be able to have a pair of scissors on you when you when you need to use them there's lots of situations where unfortunately taking a knife into a, a certain environment is, is kind of frowned upon so having some shears or some scissors to be able to do light duties um, is really really useful so the one shear extreme trauma shears really designed to be used by a, um, a healthcare professional and they do an amazing job they also do an amazing job as, a, as, as an EDC pair of scissors but I mentioned at the time that there is there is another another contender has entered the fight sorry I've just took it out of the wrong pocket and that is the one shear trauma scissors mini and these are awesome um, I've been able to test these out over the last um, probably just long over a month now and as far as EDC is concerned these are great now you're probably thinking well why would you go over the mini rather than getting just the main larger pro version so hopefully we'll have a look at that today I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look and of course we need to make sure that we see how they look against your standard disposable two or three pound kind of shears that you can get off of Amazon. Let's have a look at them all. I'll turn the camera around. Now while I'm doing that, if at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. That'll be amazing for my channel. But for now, let's take a closer look at the One Shear Mini. So as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, some of the materials used and the features. So. As far as your measurements are concerned, it comes in at roughly about 15 and a half inches. Now that's from the very end of the shear here, and there's a small protruding kind of nipple, maybe I'd call it, um, here at the end. And then if I flip that round, that, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> if I flip that round, that is roughly just about six inches as far as the height is concerned if you wanted to call or if you needed this measurement it's just about just over four inches and in centimeters it is or millimeters it's about 105 millimeters as far as the cutting edge is concerned um, now I mean I'll, I'll touch on this a bit and as well in a moment but so there, there, there is a serrated cutting edge here um, which is also diamond coated there as well just to make sure that it stays as sharp as possible uh, the cutting edge is about 35 millimeters or in inches that is about an inch and three eighths um, so measurements wise these uh, and, and i know really these are designed uh, to be used um, in a medical environment but from the edc standpoint these are great they fit into so many small little pockets if you did actually want to rock up with these in your pockets in a pair of trousers or a pair of jeans you can easily do that if you have some um combat style trousers with um, pockets on on your thigh they're great for those some of those ones where you have the internal storage where you have the little mag loops in there these fit perfectly it's almost as though these were designed to fit perfectly into those little mag loops to stop them from rattling around when they're in there um, okay so just go through some of the features then so across the bottom you have a completely flat bottom which is fairly standard for your medical shears so that when this opens um, it's designed to be able to slide in uh, and certainly not cause any sort of damage to whatever it is or it, generally it will probably be a person um, or an animal if you're using these because of the smaller size you tend to find with these that they're probably more suited to things like pediatrics um, or in veterinary clinics mainly because with, with the size they're just easier to be able to maneuver and handle around them and they're, they're certainly less daunting when you present them to uh, when you present them to a patient but you have that nice flat bottom 
there is uh, a rounded tip at the end you know i mean you could i mean if you if you stabbed me hard enough with these um it might hurt but you know it, it, it's completely rounded here at the edge you then have the cutting surface now this the bottom set of jaws which generally are the ones that don't move um, so these are serrated and it, it's a really quite aggressive serration on there um, when you're trying to cut things you don't get any sort of slippage it's really good at being able to hold that surface so that you can use the other arm to be able to then cut through that and as I mentioned so on this side um, this is the non serrated side um, it's diamond coated to make sure that this stays um, as you know as sharp as possible so that when you get that cut you get a nice clean cut now it's definitely something that I mentioned on the previous versions or at least sorry the, the larger versions um, here and that is that the the um, the pivot here is is incredibly strong so getting that clean cut there's there's no sort of rotational force or at least the rotational force in here through this pivot is is reduced so the i'm sure you found when you're trying to cut things um often your, your scissors rather than coming together like that they can all, they all often force themselves apart the the actual thickness of the stock on this is two point it is 2.25 millimeters so they are nice and thick but what that does does is one through the thickness of the blade stock and also through how strong this pivot joint is here it 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 creates a very clean cut because you don't want you don't have the movement round which forces the two cutting edges apart um, and because of because of how sharp this is here um, it, it again it just it just slices through it another thing to mention on here there is also a valve seal for valve seal sorry a valve key um, if you need to be able to open and close um, oxygen valves then this is on there as well again you know not particularly useful for edc however i'll, I'll probably say this quite but you know these these are designed for trauma scissors but you know it's 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 a nice feature on there i'm sure there's probably more people watching this to find out how they work as trauma scissors so I'm just going to flip this over and you can you can see that I've been using these quite a bit um, These get used more than the the other ones just because they're just so simple to be able to put in a bag um, I've actually had these in my airsoft bag so when i go away and i'm i'm tying things or cutting things off things this is these these are what i've been using i've probably used and tested these shears more so than than i did with its with its larger cousin even though i, I put a lot of effort into those as well um so the pivot on here or at least uh, the, this, the, this pivot fixing. This can be undone with a flat head screwdriver. So if you do need to take these apart, um, you can take these apart to make sure that they're completely sanitary. If you ha are worried about germs or anything like that getting into this joint, you can completely strip these down uh, to be able to get in there, which is one of the major features compared to these disposable ones. Um, the way in which these are designed you because they're they're just so flimsy um to add rigidity and stiffness to these so that you don't get that that torque that that forces these apart there's a a, a groove almost like a fuller on a knife but rather than being a fuller that's cut into it, it it's it's just pressed through um, so trying to get into there, which I've spoken to, you know, a few doctor friends of mine that I work with, it, it's just difficult. And that's why these are classed as disposable ones. Whereas with these, rather than throwing them away after X amount of uses, you can get into there and you can clean, you can clean this all out. Um, the material on the handles is the same as the original on the other one. So this is a, a, a glass filled, oh, I think it's a nylon. I'll, I'll double check that. I'll, I'll put that down here. I can't quite read my notes at the moment. But, uh, so this is a gas filled nylon, um, which is really sealed on there as well. So if you're worrying about germs or debris or anything like that, being able to get into those, um, it will, it will certainly stop that as well. Now I have got uh, a magnet here with me, just in case you're wondering i know certainly when we look at scissors and that sort of stuff we like to see how far uh, the metal goes into or at least the tang goes in here so i'm just going to open these so that I make sure so 
as I, well, let's do it on this side. Sorry about this. This will make more sense. If I put that on there and just use this corner here. So the magnet wants to pull me back. Actually, if I catch this in the light, you can see that there's just a slight bulge there. So I think as far as where it ends and, and then on this way so it does protrude into uh, the tang does go into each side there and you can see that there is a straight there before it starts to curl whereas the other side if we can do the same on this side as well so it doesn't go in as far on this side however i think in the time that i've been using these the time that i've been kind of ripping things apart, even using, what's that shrink kind of wrapping that's horrible to try and get into. Um, there's, there's been no movement in here. The, the handles are definitely firmly attached to the scissor blades. Now, I thought I'd bring in its larger brother, cousin, just to show you the differences. On, hopefully you can see the main difference and the main difference really is in the size of the one the cutting edge here at the bottom and then also the leverage that you get so I think when I did this originally it, it's roughly a two to one leverage so whatever pressure that's put into here you can make sure that you're getting twice the amount out on this side being able to cut through materials is definitely a lot easier with these but it only takes two seconds to check the one shear website and you'll and they're very clear on the fact that if you're after something um, maybe you're an EMT maybe you're working in triage and you're after that kind of do all pair of shears that you can cut things open uh, you can just absolutely I was going to say tear through but obviously that's the main point of having scissors you don't need to shears you don't need to tear through but to to quickly cut through patients clothes these really are the scissors or the shears to go to you know you can do a lot of these because of that mechanical advantage i'll leave a link up here so that you can see uh, the the original piece of content but i cut through wires i cut through cables i cut through cardboard and i cut through clothes with this when we're looking at the mechanical advantage on here it's probably closer to one to one because of the fact that the distance between where you're holding these on here you can see whereas on here it's it's a lot shorter so it's it's harder to cut through things but when i say harder to cut through things that's when i'm testing let's cut through a wire with this one let's cut through a wire with this one it, it, it's harder to do that but these really aren't designed to be cutting through wires these are more of a complementary shear to do other lighter duties and i think that's part of getting the head around the difference between uh, the larger version and, and the mini version they do a very good job of doing all of those sort of tertiary activities but then if you did have a smaller patient that you needed to be able to take something off maybe a wrist or a leg or something that you just need to do and make it a little bit more delicate delicate's the, the, the wrong word i think i'm struggling to maybe think of the right situation um to kind of fully show with these but hopefully if, you, if you're watching this and, and you are in the medical profession you'll, you'll probably appreciate a little bit more on on how these can be used but that, that really is i mean to, to look at them you can see that the size difference is is the main difference and but the size difference really comes from where the handle ends down to the pivot and the the, the size of the cutting edge this is this is um two inch cutting edge whereas these as we, as we looked at is a, an inch and well, roughly an inch and a half but when you look at the handles Although it does say on the website that there is no difference in the handles. There is a slight difference, I can't lie. So if I put my fingers in there and hold that right down at the bottom, there's probably a millimeter or two. I, I, I mean, you know, I'm splitting hairs on that one. It is very small. But if I hold the two, let me see if I can get this in the light just right. So when I have the red ones on top of here, you can see, you can see the black ones just through ever so slightly. Um, and then on this side as well, it's pretty much the same. You know, you can see the black ones through the red ones. But again, 
it really isn't much of a difference if you were going through um, and maybe you would use some electrician scissors if you were using this for EDC you tend to find with electrician scissors that they have smaller openings for your fingers and thumb to go through because they're just they're just smaller scissors um, the other major difference and I mean I don't mean like majoring like oh my god so, so. anyway um, so these are 2.25 millimeters thick whereas the larger shears are if I remember right, it's about three and a half. Yeah. So the, the, there's a lot more heft and weight to these. But getting back to how small these are and what you can fit them into, if you have a pair of um, trousers that you use when you're out and you're in EMT, you, these, these are great to be able to be stored on, on an ankle, places like that. If you're not using them for that sort of thing and you do want to put them in a pants pocket, they will easily, easily fit in a pants pocket. Now, I'll just bring up the cheaper ones these were well, these were you know these are the, the type they're just they're just a few pounds on amazon um you'll be able to see as far as the difference these probably mimic the larger one shear in size um, but as far as the cutting edge there is it's only just a little bit shorter with the cutting edge these have that standard round tip um this these don't have that round tip however Again, you know, I've not used this to um, in a medical environment, but I've, I've certainly not felt as this is this is particularly dangerous. They, they're very good um, at not catching on things. But the big difference with these is, if I was to, I mean, I, I can do it. You, you can see how much give there is in that. Whereas these, you know, there's, I mean, it's, it's probably bending my thumb back more than, than it is anything else. Now one last thing to show just in case you're curious about this and I think this is quite funny how, how these fit in uh, but here I have some I have a uh, trauma shears sleeve they do fit in and they fit in reasonably well mainly because the 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 area at the top of the trauma shears is, is a lot slimmer here at the top however as far as how far they go down um, it's it's quite laughable if you did want to uh, to have one of these or if you've got one of these to to be able to use this um, but yeah they they do kind of rattle around there a little bit but you know they still do fit if you wanted to to uh, to keep them in one of your one of your sleeves like this now i think with the one shear mini trauma shears you've got to appreciate the differences in how these are used over the main larger ones with the one shear pro versions if you're after something that you know you're there you're in triage you need to be able to strip clothes you need to do all of the duties that you need to be able to do then you know you've got that with these these are definitely a complementary style backup to those scissors now i know the examples that i've used mainly are with veterinarians or in pediatrics when you're presenting scissors to a patient and again you know I don't work as a uh, healthcare professional, however, I do work within the healthcare industry. Um, so I've not got first hand experience of this. However, being a father, you know, I've, I've unfortunately been in situations where I've had to take my kids um, to the hospital and presenting scissors, it, it does seem quite scary in some situations. So having something that's a little bit smaller, and these can almost be hidden in your hand. You know, if, if you hold them like that, you, you can see that they're a pair of scissors, but just by moving your fingers back just a little bit, you know, they, they certainly present as a smaller thing. So using those with canines, using those with children, they're certainly less and I'm trying to think of the word, but it's just kind of less daunting trying to see some scissors, but rather than a, oh, quick, run away, he's got some scissors kind of thing. Although, you know, the first day at Scissor Academy is make sure you don't run with scissors. I mean, that's, that's less than one day one. Um, but from the EDC side, these bump straight up. 
the, the, the main larger ones are great because you can do a whole lot with them. So if you wanted to cut through things, then they're perfect for that. But these, I don't, they just slip into anything. They can slip into an everyday small bag pouch. These fit into a tech pouch. There's a lot that you can do with these. You can wear this on your ankle if you wanted to. You can put this into some of the smaller pockets. Even if you've got a, a waist pack, um, small pouches, these will fit into those, whereas the larger ones, you have to kind of do that jigsaw thing where you have to get it at an angle and then be able to pull the zip across the top. I think for EDC, although yes, I know these are medical scissors or medical shears, hopefully I've shown you the advantages of using them as, as medical shears and a complementary backup to the, to, to the main larger ones. But I think looking at it outside the box from an EDC point of view, these are actually really, really, really good. Um, and I'm, I, I'm really chuffed that I've been able to uh, be able to test these out. So I'd love to hear what you think. Or have you, do you work in pediatrics? Do you work as, as, a, as a veterinarian? Do you think that these possibly would be better? Like I could say that, posi that point where um, you're positioning some scissors to a small child, do you think they would be less daunting or, you know, how, how would you use these? I'd love to hear in the comments below. Um, I need to do a shout out, and that is to Jackal Medical. Now, I reviewed these, and I purchased these here in the UK from Jackal Medical, and I got in touch with them and said, um, because I, you know, as I do get asked quite a bit about other versions, and asked if they would send some my way, and they did. They're absolutely amazing team. So if you're in the UK, the place to find all of your one share, one share, Sorry, yeah. that's a system that we've got at work. Um, your One Shear Extreme Trauma Scissors, then I'll leave all of the links below so that you can check out Jackal Medical. Um, yeah, they're an awesome team. There's some other things coming up. Um, have a look through the website. They've got some great links on there as far as if you're wanting to um, create an IFAC and lots of other things. So I've been talking to them and will continue to talk to them on a piece of content that's coming up. Um, with an IFAC that I'm trying to make or kind of fill. So yep, yeah, all of their links are in the description below. So are my social media links. There is a little weird one. This will probably not make sense to anybody else, but hi Freya, I hope you're well and working hard. Um, there'll be some of my social media links below. Um, I'll also leave some of the links to uh, one, share, one Sheer, sorry. Um, so that you can check them out as well wherever you are in the world. Um, it's the usual YouTube thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. That would be absolutely amazing. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander and stay UDC.